Wizard, I know it has been about three or four weeks since I posted a follow-up on the channel all to do with the pancake swap predictions from the prior video. Now there's a good reason for that and that's because I've been building the course all to do with crypto trading execution for people that do arbitrage using flash loans. Wow, what a mouthful. I also know that there's been heavy requests for that, which is why I just pressed on to get it done. And that course should be approved and probably launched within about a week from now. When it has launched, I'll let you know because I know a lot of you are waiting for that. That said, I wanted to just take you behind the scenes to show you within this PancakeSwap predictions, what's actually going on. Because I actually did go and trade that uh, weeks and weeks ago, and I wanted to show you my findings. Now, my belief is that PancakeSwap predictions is complete gambling and that you shouldn't trade it. But that said, I did figure out exactly how to go and read it on the blockchain and also automatically execute transactions to both trade and claim anything from that contract. Now again, I do not recommend that you trade it at all. I see it as pure gambling. You'll see that from some of the comments from other people that have tried as well. But it did teach me a lot in terms of interacting with that particular smart contract and I thought you'd find it interesting. So let me show you a bit behind the scenes. That said, I hope you like the new setup that I'm rocking over here with the black background. Let me know what you think about it either way. Um, but that said, I look forward to catching up with you all soon now that this course is out the way and we can start kicking off some other videos that I've got some big ideas for. See you on the other side. Okay, so as just mentioned, this is just pure gambling, right? I actually went and built a Python bot that went behind the scenes and waited for the payout to make some kind of sense, right? So if it was above two, it would try and get in at the last second and statistically arbitrage these payouts. Now, if you're not sure what I'm talking about, just watch the very last video, the very previous video uh, that I posted on this, the one that says, don't bother watching. And so I agree with the other wizards who have tested this out. This is pure gambling because what I realized is the payout changes at the last second. Uh, even after you just about got in, everything can swing wildly the other way. And what that means is it's unpredictable. But something I wanted to also mention to you, actually, I'm going to go and open up some analysis that I did over here as well, is I went to the blockchain and ran the last, oh, I don't know, it must have been the last 3,000 3, actually um, rows of data. So here you can see 3,001 including the headers over here. I ran 3,000 rows of data and I plotted the bull ratio and I plotted the bear ratio in terms of payout. And then, you, you know, whether it actually ended up up or down, if it ended down, it was a zero. If it ended up, it was a one. And then also the expected winner. Now, as mentioned in the flash loan course, I actually to teach people Web3 with Python, I actually go and trade this live and pull the data, etc., and show you how to do all this. Um, so I'm not going to go through all of that now because I just want to give you guys here, you know, a ta the takeaway. And the takeaway is that I found something really interesting and it actually made me wonder if um, there's something dodgy going on with this contract because markets move randomly. I've proven that the BNB price is random on a five minute time frame. And so what I wanted to show you here was actually something I had calculated as a percentage. And what this says is that 57% of the time when the bulls basically are suggesting that the price will end up, in other words, the odd for the bull ratio ends up being a lot higher and the bears would get this payout, by the way, if 2.23, if the bulls were 2.23 in terms of the bull ratio, the bears uh, would actually get that 2.23. So the payout would show on the bear's side. So let me explain that. The payout up here, for example, 2.74 in this case, was only 2.74 payout to the ups because more people bet down. The bear ratio would have been 2.74. That's why the payout's going to the ups as 2.74 because there was more liquidity that had to pay less liquidity. And that's why the less liquidity, if they were right, they get more of the money. So that's just something to bear in mind. But my point here is 57% of the time, if the market said it was going to be up, it was up. If the market said it was going to be down, it was down. So what this says is 57% of the time, what actually happened was how the contract ended up. I think there's something really funky going on there. It just doesn't feel right to me. Something just feels 
really bizarre and odd. But what I wanted to do in this video is just show you if you are interested in reading the smart contract, then what you can do here is just go to the contract. So if you click on that question mark, go to V2 contract, and there we go. Here we are, we're at the contract. Just go to read contract. And let's just get the current epoch. So right now the current epoch is 67078. You can copy that number and scroll down. And here's this rounds information. If I paste that in to the rounds and hit query, then you can see it's giving me the bull amount, the bear amount, etc. And to get the ratio, the payout ratio, you just take one and divide it by the other. So take this number here, divide it by this number here. And that will give you the ratio. And if I kept running query, uh, eventually this would all lock. So this tells you what the ta starting time was, what time it locks and what time it closes. In other words, if I look here, now it should be closing, right? It's got right to that point. So let's just see what happens if I keep hitting this. It should lock any second now. I might have been a little bit too early. Let's just go back and see here. Yep, it's now calculating. So let's wait here. And then what should happen is the Oracle called should say true because now the Oracle is actually getting the price because of these statistics here, 57% of the time, what people predict actually happens because of those statistics. And by the way, I ran 3000 rounds. So if I scroll down, you can see 3000 rounds of data here that I've analyzed on that. Because of that, it makes me wonder if there's something fun funky going on, even with the Oracle price that's being used here. Like some, somehow, somewhere, I feel like there's manipulation. I could be wrong. I don't want to say there is because that could be unjust. But th the, way I, the only way I could think about this actually being gamed is by two ways. One, either somebody is running a node and they're seeing transactions in a transaction pool and manipulating things, and or what they're doing is they are probably putting the wrong price through the Oracle potentially, I don't know. But I feel like because this is 57% of the time, not 50-50, and yet I've proven through running price data that the price should be 50-50 up or down. I just think because the market's random, I doubt that somebody knows uh, or, or a, a 7 to 8 percent of the market knows better than everyone else. And therefore, they're just able to push uh, the odds in the right favor because they, they can guess it correctly. I mean, it just something just doesn't feel right there. Again, I don't you know, I don't really want to go and say that absolutely is the case, but it just feels funky to me. And here we go. We can see that you know, now we've got a lock there. And sorry, I actually think I'm running the current round at 6707 I should be running. And there you go, you can see 6707. If I go back here, 6707, 67077. This is done, right? This is closed. This one is locked, but the price isn't closed. So if I go here to 678, you'll see here it's locked, right? Because you can't place any more bets, but it's not closed. If I go to the pre previous one, 6707, there we go. You can see it's all closed. And you can even write a transaction here as well. And the way you would do that is bet bull or bet bear. And again, this is something that I'm going through in the flash loan course, because I'm actually using this as an excuse to teach people with Python. Um, a, a lot of that course is JavaScript. But what I wanted to do was teach people with Python how to actually go and call smart contract um, functions and trade and then claim, you know, whatever. Um, so this is just a good lesson. Now, I want to go and stress, don't go and trade this. Honestly, looking at the data and also looking at my own experience, having automated some trading around this, there is no statistical arbitrage to be had. I think there's definitely manipulation going on somewhere. I can't say definitely, but I think probably someone's running a node. They're seeing the transactions in the transaction pool and probably what they're doing is then getting their trade in, however they're getting it in. Uh, to take advantage of that. I could be wrong. I could be talking absolute nonsense, but please don't trade this. It's absolute gambling. So we can close the chapter now on pancake swap because I'm no longer interested in this, but I think this could have been quite interesting for you. And maybe you learned a thing or two here as well about reading contracts and seeing how you can actually go and get the price. I'd actually run a Python bot that was just running this every second. And at the last second, it was able to We'd go and put something in to see if I could statistically arbitrage this, but it's pointless. Please don't do it. I lost a hundred pounds testing it. 
um, with test money. So please don't go and actually uh, do this at all because probably you'll lose your money.